Good morning my dear students. Today our topic is maternal physiological adaptation to pregnancy. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to Describe the maternal physiological adjustments to pregnancy. Be aware of the importance of the fetus in controlling its existence and development. Appreciate that pregnancy can be associated with changes that may be pathological in non-pregnant women. Understand the state of maternal tolerance and coexistence with the fetus. Be able to reassure pregnant women about the necessity of these changes for the well-being of the fetus and of their harmless native. For every body system we have Anatomical changes Functional changes Clinical implications, symptoms, physical findings, and tests Do not forget the presence of the placenta and the fetus. The aim of adaptation is To retain conception, immunologic tolerance To accommodate the growing fetus To deliver oxygen and growth substrates to fetus to remove heat and waste products. Expel fetus when separate survival is possible. The maternal physiologic changes that occur during pregnancy are directly linked to the specific metabolic demands of the fetus. The numerous physiologic adaptations of pregnancy are not the result of a single factor or event. They are the culmination of the biochemical interactions that occur between three distinct interacting systems, maternal, fetal, and placental. In fact it is an interaction between the fetus the placenta and the mother aiming to reach a happy end with a healthy fetus. HCG has two units alpha and beta. Beta is specific and LTLS the one we test to confirm pregnancy. It is detected one week before the missed period. Its peak is 2 to 2.5 month of pregnancy. HCG stimulates placental steroid production. Stimulates fetal adrenal steroid production. Stimulates fetal testes testosterone production. HCG can be used to detect how healthy is that pregnancy through repeating measuring. Detecting pregnancy before its appearance in the US what is called chemical pregnancy. As a part of triple test which is used to suspect Down syndrome and to follow up cases of GTD. Human placental lactogen similar to growth hormone linked to placental mass. Stimulated by insulin and insulin-like growth factor 1 and inhibited by PGE2 and PGF2. Maternal lipolysis and increase in free fatty acids, providing energy for maternal metabolism. Anti-insulin or diabetogenic action provides glucose and amino acids for transport to fetus. A potent angiogenic hormone, role in fetal vasculature formation. The hormone of pregnancy progesterone. Produced by corpus luteum till 7 to 8 weeks then by placenta and persist after fetal demise. Level rises till delivery maintains uterine quiescence by stabilizing the lysosomes. Establishes immune tolerance for conception and it has a relaxing role for the uterus masculature to be able to carry the fetus. This is an example of the cooperation between the mother the fetus and the placenta. To be discussed in the face-to-face -face lecture. Estrogen. DHEAS is produced by fetal adrenal glands. Is converted to 16-OH DHEAS in the fetal liver. DHEAS is converted in the placenta to 17-estradiol, E2. 16-OH DHEAS is converted in placenta to estriol, E3. Near term, half of E2 is from fetal adrenal and half from maternal DHEAS. 90% of E3 in the placenta arises from fetal 16-OH DHEAS and 10% from all other sources. We will discuss the following systems. The cardiovascular system. The earliest and most dramatic changes in maternal physiology are cardiovascular. These changes improve fetal oxygenation and nutrition. Anatomical changes. The heart is displaced upward and to the left and assumes a more horizontal position as its apex is moved laterally. These position changes are the result of diaphragmatic elevation caused by displacement of abdominal viscera by the enlarging uterus. The ventricular muscle mass increases and both the left ventricle and atrium increase in size parallel with an increase in circulating blood volume. To be discussed in face-to-face -face lecture. To be discussed in face-to-face -face lecture. 
To be discussed in face-to-face -face lecture. To be discussed in face-to-face -face lecture. The pregnant uterus compress the IVC. This compression increases as size of uterus increases. And may lead to near complete occlusion at term. Where blood uses the paravertebral collateral circulation to return back. Aortocable compression. 23 weeks, no change. 24 to 28 weeks, decrease by 8%. 29 to 32 weeks, decrease by 14%. 33 term, decrease by 25%. Posiro effect. The uterine artery is compressed during uterine contractions and by the presenting part of the fetus reducing the UBF. It is rendered more severe in the supine position. This slide shows the percentage of change in the different parameters of the cardiac system. To be discussed in the face-to-face -face lecture. To be discussed in the face-to-face -face lecture. The respiratory system. The changes that occur in the respiratory system during pregnancy are necessitated by the increased oxygen demand of the mother and fetus. These changes are primarily mediated by progesterone. Anatomic changes. The maternal thorax undergoes several morphologic changes due to pregnancy. The diaphragm is elevated approximately 4 cm by late pregnancy due to the enlarging uterus. The subcostal angle widens as the chest diameter and circumference increase slightly. Functional changes. Pregnancy is associated with an increase in total body oxygen consumption of approximately 50 mlo 2 min, which is 20% greater than non-pregnant levels. Approximately. 50% of this increase is consumed by the gravid uterus and its contents. 30% by the heart and kidneys. 18% by the respiratory muscles, and 2% by the mammary tissues. To be discussed in the face-to-face -face lecture. To be discussed in the face-to-face -face lecture. To be discussed in the face-to-face -face lecture. Clinical implications. Symptoms. Although airway conductance and total pulmonary resistance are reduced in pregnancy. Dyspnea is common in pregnant women. Dyspnea of pregnancy is believed to be a physiologic response to a low arterial PCO2. Allergy-like symptoms or chronic colds are also common. Mucosal hyperemia associated with pregnancy results in marked nasal stuffiness. And an increased amount of nasal secretions. Physical findings. Despite the anatomic and functional changes in the respiratory system during pregnancy, no significant changes in the pulmonary examination are apparent. Diagnostic tests. A picture of compensated respiratory alkalosis. Chest radiographs show prominent vascular markings because of increased vascular flow. This is a summary of what happened to respiratory tract during pregnancy. The hematologic system. Changes aim to maximize the oxygen delivery to the fetus. Compensate for the blood loss at the time of delivery. To be discussed in the face-to-face -face lecture. Pregnancy is considered as a hypercoagulable state with an increased risk of DVT. Both during pregnancy and puerperatum. The concentration of numerous clotting factors is increased during pregnancy. Fibrinogen, factor I, increases by 50%. As do fibrin split products and factors 7, 8, 9, and X. Prothrombin, factor 2, and factors V and 12 remain unchanged. In contrast, the concentration of key inhibitors of coagulation. Activated protein C and protein S are decreased. The risk of thromboembolism doubles during pregnancy MAND increases to 5.5 times the normal risk during the puerperium. Edema is normal in pregnancy tends to be worse late in pregnancy and during the summer. Why? I want to hear your answers in the face-to-face -face lecture. The renal system. Anatomic changes, the primary anatomic change of the renal system is enlargement. And dilation of the kidneys and urinary collecting system. The kidneys lengthen by approximately 1 cm during pregnancy. As a result of greater interstitial volume as well as distended renal vasculature. The renal calyces, pelvis, and ureters dilate during pregnancy. Because of mechanical and hormonal factors. 
mechanical compression of the ureters occurs as the uterus enlarges and rests on the pelvic brim. The right ureter is usually more dilated than the left, possibly due to dextra rotation of the uterus and compression from the enlarged right ovarian venous plexus. Progesterone causes relaxation of the smooth muscle of the ureters. Decreases bladder tone, residual volume is increased. As the uterus enlarges as pregnancy progresses. Bladder capacity decreases. And there is a tendency towards frequency of micturition. Functional changes. The result of an increase in renal plasma flow. Early in the first trimester, renal plasma flow begins to increase. And, at term, it may be 75% greater than non-pregnant levels. Similarly, the glomerular filtration rate, GFR, increases to 50% over the non-pregnant state. Urinary glucose excretion increases in virtually all pregnant patients, a trace of glucose on routine prenatal colorimetric dipstick evaluation is normal and is usually not associated with glycemic pathology. Amino acids and water-soluble vitamins, such as vitamin B12 and folate, are also excreted to a greater extent compared with the non-pregnant state. However, there is no significant increase in urinary protein loss. In addition, sodium metabolism remains unchanged. The potential loss of this electrolyte caused by an increased GFR is compensated for by an increase in renal tubule reabsorption of sodium. All components of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system increase during pregnancy. Plasma renin activity is up to 10 times that of the non-pregnant state and renin substrate, angiotensin ogen. An angiotensin increase approximately five-fold. Normal pregnant women are relatively resistant to the hypertensive effects of the increased levels of renin-angiotensin-aldosterone. Whereas women with hypertensive disease and hypertensive disease of pregnancy are not. To be discussed in face-to-face -face lecture. To be discussed in face-to-face -face lecture. The mother gains from 10 to 12.5 kgs during pregnancy. Other adaptations. Altered center of gravity. Altered gait. Greater joint laxity. Widening of symphysis pubis. Affects other joints. Thorax, widened costovertebral angle. Fatigue slash somnolence. To be discussed in face-to-face -face lecture. Pancreas. Carbohydrate metabolism, insulin resistance. Human placental lactogen, cortisol. Thyroid function. Increased TBG, via liver. Increased total T4 and T3. Free levels unchanged. HCG suppresses TSH. Adrenal function. Free plasma cortisol is elevated. CRH from placenta stimulates ACTH. To be discussed in face-to-face -face lecture. Finally we must understand that pregnancy is a normal stage in the female life and not a disease.